everybody, welcome back to the Department of Comics. I am your humble host, Agent DeCamp, happy to see you. And today we have another unboxing of the monthly comic book order. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Open her on up. If you watch any other ones, you know that uh, I live a ways away from the comic book store, so it's a little easier for me to get them by mail, but I do go to my LCS anytime I can. Okay. Let's see what we got back in here. We have. Well, that's interesting. That's a new way to pack them. Make sure they don't get damaged. Wow, they are really stepping up. This is um, DCBS, Discount Comic Book Service. They're a great service if you can't get to your local comic book shop. Fantastic customer service they have as well. Usually they come with a lot of bubble wrap. This is new. Wow, look at that. That is damn cool. Nothing else in there, making sure. Okay, so we got packs like this, rubber banded, shrink wrapped. They come bagged and boarded. Okay. Throw that over there for recycling. Okay, and let's open up and see what we got in the first pack. Put that one down there. With their service, you can have your books packed in, um, bagged and boarded. They don't have to be. They can be unbagged and boarded if you want, I guess. But the bagging and boarding is cheap. I think it's like 15 cents a book, 20 cents a book, something like that. And then if you want Mylar, um, Mylar Mylights 2, you can get those. I think those come to like 50 cents a book. So it's actually a, a good deal, no matter which way you go. I was a big spender one month, so I probably got some Mylar and some non. Uh, no, these might be all regular bags and boards. Okay, we'll start off with, uh, of course, my free previews. Got to have that. Okay, so we got that. Hmm, I got to move some stuff around here. Okay, hope you can still hear me okay. We got Batman Beyond Neo Gothic number one. Justice Society of America, number five. And like I said, I get these books once a month, so that's why you're going to probably say, well, hey, that's been out for a while. Well, yeah, well, I get them once a month. Uh, Fantastic Four, number 10. I've been reading this by Ryan North. I'm really not impressed. I don't think he understands the characters that well. He's trying to have Reed talk too scientific, and I don't know, I just it's not resonating with me. Plus, they're trying to make Alicia like the badass, and uh, I don't know. I'm just not big on it. I mean, it's okay. Hopefully, he, he picks it up and starts getting his groove. All right, next we have Night Terrors Batman, number two. I wasn't big into the Night Terrors thing, so I just bought some of the books I liked. Amazing Spider-Man Annual, number one. We have Moon Knight, 26. Doctor Strange, number six. It's like a nice cover there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Adventures of Superman, John Kent, number six. Last issue. Parker Girls by Terry Moore. Fantastic Four, number ten, Variant. Fantastic Four number 10 variant again for Who Are the Gods. Moon Knight, enormous 25th issue. Yeah, for $10, it better be enormous. It's actually uh, square bound. Fantastic Four number 10 variant. Oh, this is a cool one. This is a redo of the original X Men one, the Jim Lee book. X-Men Volume 2. What is this on? Oh, this is a Fall of X Variant Edition for X-Men 25. That is really cool. I like that. Okay. Fallen Friend, The Death of Ms. Marvel, number one variant. 
takeoff of the death of uh, Captain Marvel. Homage, I guess. Amazing Spider-Man 29. World's Finest Teen Titans, number one. Fallen Friend, The Death of Miss Marvel, regular cover. Night Terrors, Green Lantern, number one. Night Terrors, The Flash, number one. I actually bought this here. Hopefully it's in nice shape. Looks really good. This is the special chrome variant, or whatever you want to call it, metal variant to uh, the Hulk 181. Okay. Hope that's on the bag. Yes, it is. Okay. Night Terror is Zatanna, number one. Another Fallen Friend, Death of Ms. Marvel variant. Okay. Now let's open up the other pack here. Okay, it comes nicely shrink wrapped. And they also send you a packing list so you can check them off. I rarely ever have a problem with them. Um, I think I've been short. I've been with them for years. I think they shorted me a book twice in all that time. Um, usually most of the time they end up giving me extra books. And I write to them and say, do you want these back? And they say, no, keep them. Um, a couple times they, they did say, yeah, they need them back. They would send me a prepaid um sticker for it so they are really really good people all right we have batman superman world's finest number 17 batman the white knight presents generation joker night terror superman number one moon knight city of the dead number one Hot Girl, number one. I bought this with high hopes. I've seen several reviews of this book. How it is absolute trash. I'm kind of sorry I bought it, but I already ordered it ahead of time, so it was too late. It's a shame because I really like that cover. The artwork looks nice. You can see. But what can you do? Okay, we got Night Terror's Nightwing, number one. Tales of the Titans, starring Starfire, number one. Night Terrors, Wonder Woman, number one. Superboy, The Man of Tomorrow, number four. Amazing Spider-Man 30, Doc Ock. Ultimate Invasion, number two. Uh, let's see, Avengers, number three. Incredible Hulk, number two. Night Terror's Detective Comics, number one. Night Terror's Action Comics, number one. Batman the Brave and the Bold, number three. Avengers Beyond, number five. The Excellent, number five. I think this might be the last issue, which I've been waiting for, because these little five-issue miniseries that come out from the uh, original writers, um, like the Peter David um, Maestro series, all three of those. This one here, uh, Avengers Beyond. Um, actually, no, not Avengers Beyond. But those are written by some of the old writers way back when. And they take place kind of like in that continuity. So I've been waiting to read those. I want to get all five. Okay, Ghost Rider, 16. Invincible Iron Man, number eight. She-Hulk, 15. Hallow's Eve, number five. Hellcat, number five. And, of course, my DC Connect. I understand why they sent me the DC Connect in a bag and a board, but not the Marvel previews. 
Okay, and yeah, this is showcasing the upcoming Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong. Which I really don't understand because Superman could wipe out both Kong and Godzilla with no issues. So, unless they're going to say that Kong's magical, I don't know. All right, so that's what I got this month. Uh, please leave a comment, let me know what you think. Leave a like on the video, share it with a comic friend, and subscribe, please. It was great to see you again. Uh, this is your host, Agent DeCamp, signing off, and keep reading comics. Where's my mouse? There it is. Bye.